this also came out of the Goodwill bins and I was excited when I saw it because I have sold this before. It is a harder to find um, Batman Imaginex figure. It's the Joker Claw robot, um, eco exo exoskeleton. And it actually opens up and one of the like little figures can fit down in it right there. But this ended up selling. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna share 30 of my bread and butter bolos with you, items that I sourced really cheap. Um, I picked these items up at thrift stores, garage sales, a straight estate sales, um, Facebook marketplace, just you name it. I source anywhere, the Goodwill bins, YouTube auctions. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And at the end of the video, I am going to tell you what I paid in total for all 30 items and what I made in total for all 30 items. I'm going to show you that you can source super cheap and make really good money selling on eBay. So um, if you're new here, thanks for being here. Thank you for watching. I call these my bread and butter bolos, items I sold for $35 or less. Um, if you're new to the channel, let me know how you found it. And if you've been here a while, Thanks for coming back and let's get started. Okay, the first item I sold is this Noel wood wagon. It is just like a doll or bear display accessory or furniture. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. This is a magic math multiplication keyboard. So what you do is you push down on the key and it gives you the answer. These are incredible and they sell really quickly with, that has been in my experience at least, and I always pick them up when I see them. So they're an educational homeschooling toy. Those are great keywords to put in the title. I got this at the Goodwill bin, so my cost of goods was probably $2 or less, and I sold this for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. The next item I paid up a little bit for, I paid $5 for this at a garage sale. It's the Moana set. Um, it was missing one piece and I believe I added a replacement piece that was the wrong color. And I just disclose any information like that right here under the condition. So if you are listing from your phone, you can put the condition, but it does not allow you to add this additional info. If you were on your desktop, you can add this info and it's going to show up right here at the top. So I recommend that if you're listing from your phone and there is a defect in the item that you go over to your computer and you edit and add that information right there at the top. That way, um, a lot of times people don't go down to the description and read everything. It's also going to show right here highlighted in, um, in your listing from the desktop. So I think it's a really important feature that a lot of mobile users miss out on. I don't know why eBay doesn't add that to the mobile and make that mobile friendly. Uh, but anyway, I sold this set for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. The next item here is this The Good Dinosaur Forest Woodbrush Toy Figure. And he's a funny looking guy. I had to use Google Lens to figure out who he was because I was not familiar with him. But I do pick up dinosaurs. He's actually pretty big. I got him out of a thrift store mystery box, uh, toy box, and I sold him for $12.60 plus shipping. So anytime I get things out of a thrift store mystery box, my cost of goods is usually around a dollar or less. This item right here, I got at a garage sale for a buck. It is a 2003 Madame Alexander Olivia the Pig. Um, she's retired and you can see that it had this little, um, it's not in the original packaging but it was still stapled or attached to this uh, cardboard piece right here. So um, I sold this for $16.24 plus shipping. The next item, this cat's meow piece. And um, cat's meow, I I've talked about it before. I usually pick it up if I can get it super cheap. Um, I'm talking like a quarter or 50 cents a piece and usually a quarter. I buy it in bulk, usually at garage sales. I actually picked some up today at a garage sale for a quarter a piece. Um, they are lighthouse ones. 
I will tell you that I put them right in my money pile because this is one thing that I don't get excited to list, but I know that I can make decent money on these. But, um, you know, just some things you just, I don't know, it's just not fun. The excitement factor is not there. Let me know in the comments what's something you know you can make money on, but you really don't like to list. Um, but yeah, I have tons of cat's meow that I need to list because I like to part them out and do them individually. This is just a wood shelf sitter village like scenery, and they always have a little cat on them. Um, I don't think, let's see, is this one? Yeah, it's kind of marked on the back. Sometimes, oops, they will have um, additional information on the back to help you list them. Like if it's a like the lighthouse ones might tell which lighthouse it is or what, whatever. Anyway, somebody offered me 10 bucks for this and I went ahead and took it. The next item is this um, Hasbro Disney Elena of Avalar playset with figures. This came from a garage sale. I did pay up a little bit for it. I paid $4 for it. And this is awesome. So I listed this and I did my pictures and this was my original photo. And then I decided that I wanted to add these two little characters on the left um, right here. They were not in my original picture. So I was like, oh, I don't want to do, I don't want to set it all up again. So what I did is I did photo room and I took a separate picture of these two little figures and I was able to place them in and they look like they were in the original photo. So photo room is fantastic. If you're not using it, it creates a white background, but I also use it for my uh, thumbnails on my YouTube channel. I use it for um, like things like this, adding things, editing your photos and including things that maybe you forgot to include in the original listing. I mean, it would have taken me a long time to go in and set this all back up again. Um, if you want to get photo room for the year, you can get 10% off. I do have a referral link down below. Um, if you click on that and then you sign up for the yearly subscription, you get 10% off. And I do have videos that show you how to use photo room, but it's essentially just creating a white background. I mean, you could go out and take a picture of um, a hat or something in your grass and white out the background and you would never know that that item was sitting in the grass. It's incredible. Um, and it works. Uh, the one I, I, I've used other ones like the eBay one, it's glitchy and um, but photo room's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Anyway, I got this at a garage sale for four bucks and I sold it for $32.50 plus shipping. All right, this little Ewok, I don't know if you guys saw my video. It was uh, called Plush for 25 cents. I went to a garage sale and all of their plush stuffed animals were 25 cents. It was incredible. This guy so was a quarter, sold him for $14.30 plus shipping and he sold fast. He is a 1991 um, Walt Disney World Ewok plush stuffed animal. This fabric came out of the Goodwill bins. It is a Halloween fabric. And I just thought, you know what? This isn't something that I've ever purchased from the Goodwill bins. I'm going to try it. It sold really uh, quickly. I took a best offer of $12. I actually had it up for auction and somebody offered me 12 and I went ahead and took it. Um, probably less than a dollar in that. Uh, here's another Elena of Avalar figures. And these came from a garage sale. $2 on those sold them for a best offer of 15 plus shipping. The next item are these Paddington Bears from 1978. They are ornaments and they are adorable. I got them at the Goodwill for $2 and I sold these for $19.50 plus shipping. This is a Hallmark 2013 um, ornament and it is Ruth Dona 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 Kowalski. I don't know that name, but it is marked. So I went ahead and included that in my title. And I got this out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. And I sold this for $16.25 plus shipping. These right here came out of the Goodwill bins. They are Kosky Kids football guys. And I got a big bucket. And the bucket uh, was supposed to have, I think, just the football players. But it had hockey. It had some like referees or umpires. And it had baseball. So what I did is I divided it out. I parted it out. Uh, I put the football players together. I actually sold the referees or the umpires. I'm not sure what they're called separately. And those two sold really quick. So if you ever come across those, it's from the $9 range. So not big money, but definitely a quick sale. And, you know, if if you're parting things out, it it definitely pays off. 
Okay, so I did put cake toppers in the title. These would be great for somebody who was having a birthday party and they wanted to decorate a cake with football players. So Goodwill Bins, I'm going to say cost of goods was probably around $5 because it was a little bit heavy, but I got probably six or seven listings out of it. So probably a dollar for this. And I sold this for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. This little Pikachu hat, um, this was one of those situations where somebody messaged me and they're like, I need this for my child. They lost theirs, you know, and I love it when things like that happen. And, you know, you just have that item that somebody needs. Uh, it usually happens with stuffed animals, not hats. So that was pretty cool. I sold this for $11. Um, I picked this up at a garage sale. I believe it was 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping on that. The next item came out of my bulk buy uh, jewelry. So my cost of goods is probably a dollar or so for all of this. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $15.55 plus shipping. So they're just stretch bracelets, costume jewelry. There's some really pretty ones here, but um, I just didn't want to take the time to part them out. And I figured um, somebody else might be interested in doing that. So that was the lot. The next item is this Monster High Frankenstein replacement dress. I didn't know who this belonged to. I didn't know what it was. I used Google Lens to figure it out. I figured it was Monster High because of this little monster right here on the tie. But to um, figure out which doll it went with, Google Lens. I got this at the Goodwill bin, so probably 10 cents for it, maybe less. And it sold for a best offer of $7 plus shipping. The next item is this. Um, this is an earring holder. They are lovebirds. And it's a gold metal stand. And I think it's marked right there. Uh, I don't know why I did not put the brand in the title. It's right here. Torino or T-O-R-I-N-O. -O, Torino. And I sold this pretty quickly. I did take a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And I picked that up at a garage sale. I think it was like $1.50. The Lego Batman movie. Um, sealed. I do pick up DVDs and Blu-rays and VHS from time to time that are sealed. Um, I did pay up a little bit for this one because it was Batman. I figured it would sell pretty quickly. I paid $2 at a thrift store. It ended up selling for $10.40 plus shipping. This right here, I had to, um, again, use Google Lens. It's a VTech Learn and Dance Dino orange replacement egg with attachments. There weren't any comps on this. Um, it did take a while to sell. I got it at a thrift store for 50 cents. I ended up selling it for $13 plus shipping. This is plants and zombies action figures. These came out of the Goodwill bins as well. So that's where you go in and you dig through the bins by pound. I pay $1.89 a pound at my Goodwill bins. And I do have videos. And what I do is I show you actual footage of me digging through the bins. So if you've never been to one, go check out one of those videos. But to keep it educational is I list everything that I pick up and I pop up screenshots of how those items are listed. So um, definitely you can still learn from those videos and they're super fun to watch. So check those out. I sold these for $14.95 plus shipping, cost of goods less than a dollar. This also came out of the Goodwill bins and I was excited when I saw it because I have sold this before. It is a harder to find um, Batman Imaginex figure. It's the Joker Claw robot, um, eco exos exoskeleton. And it actually opens up and one of the like little figures can fit down in it right there. But this ended up selling for a best offer of $18 pretty quickly and the buyer paid shipping. This item right here came out of a thrift store mystery box. So probably a dollar less. Sold it for $7 plus shipping. It did have some condition issues. It's a vintage Ken Doll Army Air Force tan shirt, number 797. All right, th these are starched ornaments and these were all baby themed. I got these at a garage sale. Oh, I wanna say I paid a dollar for these. I, I got, uh, I think some were Christmas and there was a whole bunch of them. This I believe is my last set to sell. I sold these for $25 plus shipping. All right, this is an American Girl Bitty Baby doll. This is from my Goodwill Bins haul where I had my friend go into the Goodwill Bins. She's never been there before. And I said, I want you to thrift for me. So she dug through the bins. She picked out a bunch of stuff, uh, put it in a bag. 
I paid for it. I brought it home. I unbagged it. I show you guys a video of that, but she did pretty good. I think I've sold uh, four things already that was in that bag, but this is one of the items and it had a bunch of scuffs and marks on its head and I was able to get that cleaned up. Um, and it turned out really, really nice. Sold super fast for $22.75 plus shipping. This is a 2018, so it's not a super old one. But um, Biddy Baby is a great product by American Girl. Definitely sell. Cost of goods on that one, a little bit heavier, so probably around $2 on that. This here took forever to sell. I thought it was super cool when I picked it up. I thought it was going to sell really quick, but it didn't. Um, it's kind of, uh, maybe I had bad keywords. I mean, how do you describe toilet soap? T soap that's shaped like a toilet. <laughs> anyway, I paid a dollar for it at a thrift store. I ended up selling for a best offer of $9 plus shipping. These Batman figures are by Jada Metals. They're die cast um, metal figures. And these came out of a thrift store mystery box also. I sold these for $13 plus shipping. The next item came out of a thrift, I'm sorry, um, it came out of a uh, toy box from Auctions for You. That is a YouTube channel that I buy from. And it was a toy box. Uh, I can't remember if I paid 100 or 150 for it. I do have an unboxing on this channel where I show you everything I got. Um, this one took a little bit longer to sell. A lot of the items sold very quickly, but it was a fantastic box. Um, I sold this for $27 and the buyer paid shipping. And I will link auctions for you down in the description. If you guys are looking for inventory, auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino do YouTube auctions and selling events. And it's a great place to source. So they'll be linked down below. These are Hot Wheels. And I pick these up at garage sales, super cheap. Um, these may have been in a mystery box. I'm not 100% sure, but I probably had a couple bucks in them. Sold these for a best offer of $21 plus shipping. What I did is I took all of the DC comic um, Hot Wheels cars and kind of put them together. I think a lot of them are like Batman. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what they look like. Maybe a Spider-Man. Uh, the next item I sold is this vintage Sears Roebuck Disney Squeak Toy Bambi Deer. This came from that garage sale video I did. She sold on auction, seven-day auction, got a bid right away, $19.99 for this. I paid a dollar for her at a garage sale. Super, super cute. Buyer paid shipping on that. And the last item also came from my friend who sourced for me at the Goodwill bin. She picked out these McDonald's Barbies and I'm like, oh my goodness, McDonald's Barbies. Um, but you know, I have sold these before, but I figured they were going to be very long tail. So I priced them competitively. And you know what? They sold so fast for $16.25 plus shipping. And I probably had maybe a couple dollars in those by weight. All right, you guys. So let's talk numbers. I probably, it's kind of tricky because the Goodwill Benz is by weight and I buy in bundles a lot, but I'm estimating high that I paid $45 for all 30 of those items. And I did some quick math here with a calculator on my phone. And without tax and shipping, this is just the cost of the item, $469.78. Um, so 45 into 469, I like those margins. And these items are super easy to find, super easy to list. and um, just to give you an idea that you can go out there and you can source cheap and make a really nice profit on eBay. So I hope this helps you guys. These are my bread and butter bolos, items I sold for $35 or less. Uh, leave me an emoji of your favorite emoji down in the comments. Tell me which one was the most unexpected and thanks for watching.